In this video, we will get introduced to NOT gate. This is the symbol for a NOT gate, an arrow with a bubble over here. And the truth table is like this. When the input is low, output is high. And the input is high, then the output will be low. This is the circuit diagram for NOT gate. The main components are BZ107, the transistor, two resistors, 1.5K and 2.2K, a biasing supply of 5 volt battery. The emitter denoted by this arrow is directly grounded to the baseline. This is the base of the transistor, 1.5 kilo ohm should be connected over here, and this is the input point. The input can be made high or low, logic 1 or 0. Anyway, this is the input point. The output is taken from the collector and 2.2 kilo ohm is connected between the collector and plus VCZ. So, this would be the output point, this point and the earth. The output LED will be connected over here. If you want, you can also connect a voltmeter over here, the same two points, to read the voltage output. Now, let me introduce the components. These are the two required resistors. As you can see, the color code it is brown, green, red. So, it is 1, 5, and 2. 2 10 raised to 2. So, it is 1.5K. This is red, red, red. So it is 2.2 K. 2, 2 into 10 raised to 2. That is 2.2 K. This is the LED. This is the transistor BZ107. This is a metal body. And these are the three legs of the transistor. One is emitter, one is base and the other is collector. If you take a bottom view of the transistor, that is all the three legs facing you, you can see a notch over here. This is the identification mark. The leg very close to this emitter will be the emitter. So this is the emitter. And the next one, this would be the base. And this would then naturally be the collector. So once again, the leg Near to the notch would be the emitter. The next one would be the base. And this one would be the collector. So we will start doing the experiment on the breadboard. I would prefer to keep all the components in a very similar manner as it is in the diagram onto the breadboard so that it will be easy for you to follow the circuit and reproduce the circuit. So I want my emitter down, I want my collector up and I want my base to the left of the circuit. First identify the legs of the transistor, emitter, base, collector, then place it on the breadboard on three different points. So now this down leg is the emitter. The top one is the collector. And this point is my base. But as I told you, I would like to get this base to the left hand side for my convenience. So I would like to take an extension from this point using a jumper wire or any small wire onto this point so that now this is my base point along with this I would now my emitter is down collector is up and my base has come to this straight line point this procedure please note that it is not a must but it is just for the sake of my convenience and it's just for the sake of following up the exact circuit which we have drawn. So now the emitter is down, collector up and base on the left side. 
Now I am going to place this 2.2k from the collector to the plus VCC point. I have placed the 2.2k from this collector point onto this plus VCC point. The whole straight line, first straight line, I am going to take as plus VCC later. Next aim would be to connect the emitter to the earth point. So the emitter is going to be earth onto this earth point using a wire. Next I would connect a resistance of 1.5k to the base and put it here for the input. As you know this is my base point now. So from the base I have connected a resistor of 1.5k over to this. And I would like to provide a wire over here for the base input. So this wire is going to be my input wire, white in color. Now I would like to take a wire for the output from the collector. So this is a resistor there. And from that common point, I'll take a wire for the output from the collector. Now we should connect a battery of plus VCC to this point and minus to this point. This is the ground point or the minus point. Now I will connect a red wire to be connected to the plus 5 volt and I'll connect a black wire in the extreme bottom line to be connected to the minus point of the battery. So this is the black wire to minus point of the battery and this is a red wire to the plus point of the battery. So this would be my plus point and the last line would be my minus point. Now I will make the battery box ready. This is for the negative spring. So negative, positive, negative, positive and negative, positive. Okay. So, I'll use three cell and take my connection from here for positive and here for negative. Please allow me to interchange these two wires for convenience of color. We will connect this positive wire to the positive point and the negative green wire to the negative end of the battery here. We have given the plus VCC on the top line and minus 5 volt on the bottom line. Now all what remains is a output point. We will take a wire from here, a violet wire from here to another point and connect an LED across this point to identify the output. At the same time we can also connect a voltmeter parallel to this if you want. So from this collector point, I am taking a wire and placing it somewhere here and now I will connect the LED. For the LED, please note that the longer leg is the positive and the shorter leg will be the negative. So positive of the LED should go to this point and negative to this point. I am connecting the LED positive to this point and negative to the down base ground line. This is a negative ground line. Now the circuit is complete. This is a plus for the battery. This is a minus for the battery. This violet wire is the output from the collector and LED is connected onto the ground here. So the circuit is complete. This white wire is my input wire to this base resistor. So what I will do is I will put this onto the plus point high. Plus point can also be called as the high point. So the input is high now and the LED is showing zero output or low output. Now I will take it from there 
and put it in minus point. So now the input is low. When the input is low, the LED lights up. So hope it is clear. Look on to the truth table. When the input is low, the output should be high. Then the LED should glow. When the input is high, the output is low and the LED should not glow. When the input wire is connected to the plus point or the high point, the LED is not glowing so the output is low. When the input wire is connected to the low state, then the output is high and the LED is glowing. Hope you can make out that it is glowing. I will make it off so that you will understand what is glowing. So now this is off. This is off. This is off. This is off. Please note that you should interpret your output only when your inputs are positioned high or low. As already said, I can also connect a voltmeter across this point. Positive of the voltmeter should go here and negative should go here so that I can read the output voltage high and low on the voltmeter. I have taken a voltmeter, connected the positive of the voltmeter to the same point of positive leg of the LED output, the negative of the voltmeter to the ground line. This is a ground line. Now, when the input line is connected to the high point, you can see that the voltmeter reads zero or the output is low and the LED is not glowing. Now, when the input line is connected to the negative, then you can see that the output of the voltmeter reads 1.5 volt and the LED is now glowing. So for a low input, you are getting a high output. In the truth table, if you want, you can extend this for a voltmeter column. And for low input, you can denote a 1.5 volt output. And for a high output, you got zero volt output. You can extend this for voltmeter reading if you want. Hope this video was useful. Thank you.